One of my fondest memories is around the winning of the gold medal by the Canadian women's hockey team. Following the game, the celebration, and the presentation of the medals, Richard Lawtons and I were in the back filing our pictures, and after a few minutes we heard a lot of commotion going on around the rink. Richard grabbed an 80 to 200 lens and a camera and went out to investigate while I continued to file. The noise continued to go on for several minutes to the point where I went to take a look myself. What I found was several of the players on the ice in their uniforms drinking a couple cans of beer and there was a big magnum of champagne and some of them were smoking cigars. They were enjoying themselves, taking pictures on the Zamboni and just basically living the moment. When I looked to the left, two of the players had taken a moment to themselves. They were lying on the ice, almost in perfect unison, and between them was a can of beer and a magnum of champagne. It was a perfect, joyous moment following the games. Unfortunately, that incident caused a little bit of controversy for the team. And the next day, team captain Haley Wickenheiser did face the media to answer questions about the drinking and the smoking. I always believed that if the men had done that, there wouldn't have ever been a controversy. And it didn't really stick, it didn't take long, it did move on, but I suspect if they won again, they would do the same thing.